Hey, music enthusiasts. This is App Geeker. Welcome back to our channel. If you're eager to learn how to add your favorite MP3 tracks to Apple Music on your iPhone for offline playback anytime anywhere you want, you're in luck. In this video, we'll walk you through the easiest steps to seamlessly transfer MP3 files to your iPhone and listen to them within the Apple Music app. So, if you're using a Windows PC or laptop, then iTunes would be a good choice. Supported by Apple, iTunes allows you to transfer music from your computer to iPhone quickly. To make it, you can add the MP3 files to iTunes Music Library first, and then sync them with your iPhone through a USB cable. Alright, let's get started. Firstly, open the iTunes app on your desktop. If you don't have iTunes on your computer, download and install from Microsoft App Store or Apple official website. Okay, next, get the MP3 tracks you want. You can put them together in a single folder, just like I do, which makes it easier to add those MP3 files to the Apple Music on your iPhone all at once. Then, from the iTunes window, click the file menu at the top and select the option to add files or folder to the iTunes library. Here, in this pop-up window, pick every MP3 tracks you want. Alternatively, you can multi-select the MP3 files you want to add, and drag and drop them to the iTunes library. Like you see, it's that easy. Now, you can connect your iPhone and add these MP3 files to your Apple Music app. Use a suitable data cable to connect your iPhone and computer. If asked, unlock your device and trust this computer. Alright, from here, you'll see a tiny phone icon. Click on it. And go to the Music tab. To sync MP3 music with your iPhone, tick the checkbox next to Sync Music. You can transfer the entire music library, or just some specific playlists or albums. Make sure the MP3 files are included and then begin the process by clicking the apply button at the bottom. This will sync all selected music from iTunes to the Apple Music on your iPhone. However, the only drawback of this method is that iTunes is gonna erase all original tracks in your iPhone music library after adding new tracks to it. So, if you don't want to lose your existing music content, try the next method to add MP3 to your Apple Music on iPhone directly. So here comes the iPhone Data Transfer, a full-featured iOS data transferring tool that allows users to add music to iPhone without iTunes directly. Not limited to adding MP3 to Apple Music on iPhone, it also lets you transfer photos, videos, and other documents to your iPhone or iPad seamlessly. So, first step, install and open it on your PC or Mac. It's compatible with all Windows and macOS systems. You can get it by clicking the link below this video or visiting appgeeker.com. Alright. Then connect the iPhone. Likewise, if required, enter your iPhone passcode and trust your computer. Now, move to the music section. To add MP3 to your iPhone's Apple Music, click this add button at the top. It will open up a selection window where you can choose all MP3 files you desire. Or, you can drag and drop everything to the software window. The MP3 files will be added to your iPhone's Apple Music automatically, without erasing any existing tracks currently on your device. If you also want to transfer other files to your iPhone, switch to other sections accordingly. Alright, if you own a MacBook, you can use the default music app that comes with macOS. First of all, launch the music app on your Mac and then link your iPhone using a lightning cable. When you see your device show up in the left devices section, click on it. Okay, time to add MP3 files to your iPhone music. Open the folder where you keep the MP3 tracks. Select them all, and drag them into the music window. Once done, you can disconnect your iPhone, and play the MP3 music you just added. It's very easy to add MP3 and other music files within the Apple ecosystem. So, no matter which iOS device you're using, you can now add any MP3 to the Apple Music on your iPhone without hassle. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. For more tech tips, all in App Geeker channel. Thanks for watching. See you next video.